Hello Southies, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cece and today you're watching another part of Happy Messes and it's been a minute since I've played with this family. My sim self Cece here and her husband Joaquin and currently they are on vacation in Granite Falls uh, with Joaquin's mom Julia and his baby sister Carly. And it is early Sunday morning and Cece is making some breakfast for everyone. She, or in the last part, she graduated from college. So she has a fancy degree. Let's see if we can find it in her inventory. Um, yeah, it is a fancy degree, a Magnum University of Bright Chester Diploma in the Culinary Arts without honors, and that's okay. Um, maybe she'll go back to school and get uh, a distinguished degree, but for right now, uh, they are just celebrating her accomplishments. Um, Joaquin was also recently promoted, and so they're kind of celebrating that as well, even though he is desperate to break from his job. Um, in his aspirations, I think the last thing that he has to do is mentor others in music for three hours, which I do have plans for that. But for right now, um, or and then I'll go ahead and say that uh, Cece's new aspiration is her soulmate. So uh, we've been working on that a little bit. I've still got some ways to go. And obviously Joaquin is her happy little soulmate. But um, there's something that is going on in the family um and it really has to stem with julia and julia who is sleeping upstairs if you will remember a couple of parts ago julia wanted to take this vacation with joaquin but at the time joaquin said no because they were too busy and so when graduation came through he you know uh, mom and Carly came into town to help celebrate the graduation and so Joaquin was like how about since Cece is not in school anymore we'll go ahead we'll go up to Grand and Falls of course it is raining cats and dogs and has been um, so hopefully it will clear up but let's see I guess we can look at the forecast thunderstorms today forecast so it looks like they're going to be inside most of the day which is fine um cc if she's anything like me she's more of an indoor person anyway so she can like curl up with a book or something and play with carly but julia had something that she needed to discuss with joaquin and cc which is one of the main reasons why she wanted to kind of go on this family vacation with them um and for right now we are aren't gonna really let's see who's someone trying to call him oh that's uh andre is cc's little brother uh he's excited about Brittany <laughs> being friends but um let's see it looks like julie is hungry and she's wanting to wake up anyway so let's go ahead and wake her up and take her downstairs so she can enjoy some of Cece's delicious cooking. Um, she cooked some omelets and she cooked some blueberry um, bagels. And this is a house, as I mentioned before, that is on the gallery. It is a little cottage that I made exclusively for Granite Falls. I'm so upset that it's raining. I guess I could, I could, ooh, ooh, that was loud. I don't know if you heard it, but it was loud. Um, I definitely could change uh, the weather um, using CC com MC command, but I recently updated my game. Um, and so I don't know if it will work. There's some things that aren't working, but the two ladies, let's see, let's have them sit here and maybe have some conversation, brighten each other's day. I know, Susie's like, I know it's raining. This is probably not what you wanted. And I'm sorry that it's raining, but you know, we're here and we're happy. We're, everything's good. And Julie's like, yeah, it's so great. I'm fine with the rain. I'm just happy to be here with my kids and to be here with you and celebrate um, everything that's going on with you. It looks like baby Carly is up. Let's hope oh, she's crying because she's hungry. So let's have um, 
her big brother come and well I need to pick her up calm down he's feeling playful and then pick up we'll get you some food here little bitty what's CC doing CC's sat and reading a book and Scout is whining and moaning about something here pick up okay so like I said Julia does have something that she wants to talk to her son and daughter-in-law about and I don't know if she's ready to talk to them this early in the morning but okay all right come bring her downstairs so that she can get some brekkie as my English friends would say but yeah it seems like it's not gonna be oh it's gonna rain the whole time I feel really bad about the vacation you guys because <laughs> it's just a rainy mess but that's okay um, it will be just fine here get you some bagels little one and while you're eating bagels where are you gonna go oh she's so stinking cute Does she have any skills whatsoever we might work on She's got some. I'm going to say we could work on some skills for Carly because she does age up soon. She is up, ages up in eight days. Um, how about, let's see, you can have something to eat. Were you hungry? Not anymore. You, so her aspiration is to become an actress. Let's have her practice acting in, in the mirror. I would say that possibly Julia is one of those d-list actresses that she's only ever had maybe one line and anything she's ever been in but for the most part she just runs around and gets married and that's really all she does Carly's feeling scared oh no don't feel scared here tell her a funny story probably till after she eats and then I'm going to have uh, Joaquin, when he's done eating, work on some music because they have nothing else to do. Okay, so it is a little bit before 3 p.m. It looks like Cece's got a potty and they've all just kind of been around the house doing their own little thing. Um, oh, no. Joaquin has lost his celebrity. That's fine. He's just not really interested in being a celebrity. He's just more interested in creating music and you're supposed to be oh she's using she's using the bathroom in her pot in her diaper that's okay you can go upstairs and use the bathroom it just took a little bit too long and then is carly at all tired carly is getting sleepy she's also getting hungry um here mom why don't you here let me get carly to come over here and grab a serving of this and see Julia's got a potty and I think what we'll do is we'll have Julia put Carly to bed and then we'll sit Joaquin and Cece down and talk to them about what she's been wanting to discuss with them one of the main reasons why she wanted to um, spend the weekend with them all right so Julia is putting baby Carly to bed giving her a sweet little kiss and so now let's come downstairs because we want to have a conversation uh, with her son so let's see can we call them over we'll, we'll just have them all come sit in here everybody come sit down in the living room because Julia has something that she wants to say. And so, <laughs> oh gosh, they need to clean up. But, okay, so Julia uh, has got some interesting news to tell the both of them. And it is regarding a brand new relationship. So, a little while ago, Julia met this man named David Crane. Um, in Sulani, he lives in Brindleton Bay. He's a rich, retired millionaire. And the two of them fell in love, which of course this is tale as old as time for Joaquin. He's used to this um, story. He's heard it all before and he knows what's coming next. <laughs> and, and poor Cece's like, 
Yeah, get on with the story. I'm tired. I'm exhausted here. Let's move these plates out the way so they can stay focused. So Julia is going to explain that she and this David Crane character have decided to marry, which of course Joaquin is like, yes, of course. I've heard this before. This is not my first rodeo. Mom's marrying a rich guy. What is new? But what is going to be new this time is that Julia or David is not a kid person. He has two adult children and grandchildren, but he is not interested in raising any more kids, which kind of, you know, is a little bit of an alarm bell for Joaquin because he's thinking, well, you have Carly and she's a little kid. And so Julia is explaining, yes, I do. But the reason why I wanted to meet with the both of you is I was wanting the two of you to take Carly. And of course, this sets Joaquin off. What do you mean you want us to take Carly? What do you mean you want us to take Carly? Carly's your daughter. What are you trying to say, like for the weekend? And Julia's like, no, I mean take her. Take her uh, in and raise her for me. <laughs> And Joaquin is like, um, no, we can't do that. She's your daughter. What do you mean? Why do you want us, like, why are you marrying this guy if he's not going to take Carly? Like, you're a package deal, mom. And she's, you know, I know she's yelling, but only because Joaquin is yelling. And poor Cece is sitting here just like, she's exhausted. And I think Cece is just like, I just, I'm trying to understand, we're just trying to understand, do you, is this a temporary thing? And this is kind of how talks go between Julia and Joaquin. If they're around each other long enough, they just start arguing. And yeah, so Joaquin is just trying to ask, is this, is this just a temporary thing? And so what Julia is going to explain is, look, I'm older. I never expected to have a child at this age. And David is an amazing guy. I truly think I found my soulmate. And I want to make this work. And I think Cece's like, well, we can understand that. But, you know, Carl, what about Carly? She's your daughter. Like, what about your daughter? And Julie's just like, yes, I know. And I know that this seems selfish uh but you know i've my whole life i've been trying to find love and i really think i have found it and i don't want to give up on this opportunity um because i really love david and obviously i love carly but i just i can't do this i'm not a mom i've never been a good mother you know this joaquin i can't i just this is the man that I think I, I truly am in love with and I don't want to give up on this opportunity. And she's just telling them, look, it's either the two of you or it's Aunt Tiffy, which of course sets Joaquin off even further because Aunt Tiffy lives in Strangerville and she only has one eye. She She's a horrible person. She can't raise Carly. And I think at this point, Cece is just trying to calm down the situation. She's going to say, of course, we will take Carly. Of course, we will keep Carly for you. Just, you know, we can work out all the semantics and everything later. I just think right now we all just need to end this conversation and talk about it later. So I think that everyone is in agreement with that. So I'm going to have... Let's see, poor, poor baby girl, or, uh, well, not poor Julia, awful Julia is hungry, so I'm going to have her come and grab something to eat. Um, Cece is tired, so I'm going to have, she wants to sleep, but I'm going to have uh, her and Joaquin come in here because I'm pretty sure Joaquin uh, is really angry and is not done talking about this with her, and he's just saying, 
this is what she does. This is what she's always done. This is what she's done since I was a kid. I don't know how many times she dropped me off at Tiffy's or dropped me off with one of her friends so she could run off and fall in love with her soulmate. And Cece's explaining, look, you can't change your mom. This is who she is. We can't control what she does. So we either take Carly in and try to give her the best life that we can or she moves to Strangerville, or your mom takes her off to be with some man that wants nothing to do with her. Uh, you know, and she's trying to explain, this seems to be the only option, and uh, Joaquin is, ex he he's angry, and he's upset, and um, I think even though it is raining cats and dogs, I think we're gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and have him if he can, go for a run because he's just he's too hot to be in this house right now he just can't be in this house right now okay so it's early Monday morning and Joaquin came upstairs last night to sleep with um what are you running inside for you're already inside come here come wake your brother up um to sleep with Carly I think uh he went on his run and didn't really want to wake CC, so let's have him come in here she's got a potty so I'm gonna have him come in here and do some potty training I <laughs> don't know what he's throwing a fit for it was like she's gotta go dude um he seems to be in a little bit better spirits this morning but I know that he's still extremely upset with his mom Julia's feeling fine. I'm going to see if Julia could come and clean up. It's the least she could do since she just essentially asked them to have her child. Poor Carly. <laughs> she is struggling on this potty. She really is. How about you get dressed, sir? Oof. She is going, though. She is making it happen on that seat. All right. So let's call everyone to meal scout. Everyone's coming downstairs. Um, and so I'm going to have Julia, Julia's not hungry, but I do want to have her come in. Everyone's had the opportunity to kind of sleep, to kind of think about everything that's been going on or everything that happened. And I think Julia's just going to kind of gauge what they're all feeling. Um, worn about the safety of the bed. Let's, yeah, let's start, let's break the ice with a little bit of a... A superstitious ghost story type of thing like there could be ghosts in this house and of course mom there's there's no such thing as ghosts I don't know I'm just saying this is an old house there could be ghosts <laughs> and Julie is going to ask the question one more time about baby Carly are you willing to take Carly for me and Joaquin is said yes that they will take Carly and this makes Julia happy she's happy that she knows that her son is going to take her child um, and that Carly is going to hopefully have a more stable life than what she is willing to provide you know even though he answered her it was definitely not it was kind of a cold answer Julia is uh, gonna kind of bond with Cece a little bit and I think as much as Cece she too is annoyed with Julia for doing this but she also kind of feels for Julia she recognizes that Julia just isn't the mom material like she knows that Julia is day and night from her own mother and I think a part of her just feels bad for Julia, feels sort of sad for her, that she wishes that Julia would recognize what is most important, but for whatever reason, she's not. She's just more concerned with uh, her own sort of selfish needs, which, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so they are outside. They got a chance to come outside and have a little fun. So I did kind of want to end this part on a little bit more of a lighter note. 
Um, everyone's sort of settled and feeling okay about uh, what's going to take place now. Of course, baby Carly has no idea what's going on. She loves her mom so much, but... Um, anyway, I am going to go ahead and end this part here. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by giving me a happy little thumbs up by way of pressing the like button. Comment down below what do you think about everything that's happening, about the events of today. Uh, what do you think about, um, oh goodness, about Julia getting married to a man who doesn't even like children <laughs> and is isn't wanting her to oh see uh isn't wanting her to uh have Carly with her when they do get married um and what do you think about Joaquin and Cece taking uh baby Carly in of course they did want to start a family they didn't obviously didn't think that a family would start like this and taking in Joaquin's baby sister but that's what's happening now um and if you did enjoy this part and you want to see more content from me please subscribe oop there's a goes that happy little get glitch <laughs> please subscribe I try to post every week and I would love to have you be a part of the Southie family as always my name is Cece and I promise never to break your game bye